Before uh, looking at further examples of a nominal sentence, uh, I'm going to make a specific point here about Murakkab Tawsifi and that is based on this ayah from Quran. And um, this is um, ayah number 76 of Surah Waqiyah and uh, this is the third ruku. The third ruku starts with the uh, فَلَا أُقْسِمُوا بِمَوَاقِعِ النَّجُومِ وَإِنَّهُ لَكَسَمُ اللَّهُ تَعْلَمُونَ عَزِيمٌ إِنَّهُ لَقُرْآنٌ كَرِيمٌ فِي كِتَابٍ مَكْنُونٌ لَا يَمَسَّهُ إِلَّا الْمُتَحَّرُونَ تَنزِيلٌ مِنْ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ So this is one of these four or five ayah and this is the second ayah of uh, third ruku of, of Surah Waqiyah. Now here if we look closely and, and focus on this ayah and kind of dissect this ayah, um, we will see that there is a Murakkab Tawsifi there which is not visible uh, immediately. It is there, but it's not immediately visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissect it, dissect this ayah, make it simple, kind of Arabic sentence. Chronic ayahs tend to be a little bit complex. Ahadis they are much easier and simple and easy to analyze. Ayahs are a bit difficult uh, for a beginner. So what we have here is Innahu, Innahu we are going to keep it. Innahu, can't change it. Innahu. Here we have Kasamun, Oath. Kasamun and this is Mausuf and it signifies a Zimun. Kasamun a Zimun. Innahu, let us keep wow as well. Innahu Kasamun a Zimun lo ta'alamuna. Lo ta'alamuna. So basically what we are saying here is, um, um, people have translated this in different ways and um, one person has translated as, and it is indeed a mighty oath if you but knew it. It is indeed a mighty oath. This mighty oath is Murakkab Tosifi. mighty oath. Uh, another person has written great oath. It's the same thing. It's a great oath. So, of course, indeed, no doubt, this is a mighty oath. This is a great oath. Only if you knew. I really don't know what that means. Um, scholars will shed a light on it, etc, etc. So it is very clear that uh, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying is that this is a very important oath which is being made about Quran because Quran is something major. Uh, it is a very important scripture. And this is a very important oath. فَلَا أُقْسِمُوا بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ and if you knew, then you will know that this is a mighty oath and a great oath, um, which also possibly means that you're probably not going to know, really. You're not going to fully understand that the universe is so huge, and we probably still don't know what happens to stars and uh, where they set. We know the sun sets, we know kind of moon sets as well. Um, where it goes, we don't know. Um, well, it doesn't go anywhere because earth revolves, we know that now. But there are many other things going on in the universe which we really do not know much about. So, that, that was one aspect. I'm, I'm not really here to go into the seed of any ayah. But from the, uh, from the um, grammar, grammar point of view, um, this is Murakkab Tawsifi. Kasamun Azimun. This lam, inna is a um, nice particle of emphasis. It doesn't really have its own any uh, or, of its own meaning but translated as of course no doubt etc 
And this Lam, Lam of Tawqeed, is called Lam Tawqeed. Lam Tawqeed, it does exactly the same job as Inna. So basically, there is a double emphasis here. Double emphasis. And then, this has been added to Qasim. So we have Qasimun, Azimun, and there's a Lam here, La Qasimun, Azimun, which is doing the job of Inna. So, Qasamun Azimun is Murakkab Tawsifi. Uh, this is Masuf, this is Sifa. This is in Rafa, this is in Rafa. We can see that this is singular, this is singular. This is indefinite, this is indefinite. And this is Muzakka, and this is Muzakka. So, what happens is that Sifa follows Masuf in all those four aspects of a known. But Sifa does not have to follow Masuf immediately in an ayah. It could be delayed. And here, as Masuf is here, and Sifa is right towards the end of the ayah. So I, th I looked at it and I thought it was important to share this with you. Um, the only way we can connect Azim with Qasim is if we see that it matches with Qasim in all those four aspects. If this was Qasimun and this was Azimin or Aziman, we won't be able to connect this to that because this will not then go with that. Azimin will be different Arab and that kind of Sifa cannot be connected to Masuf because Masuf is in Rafa. So here it's easy to connect this to this because it matches to this noun in all those aspects of a noun. So وَإِنَّهُ لَكَسَمُ اللَّهُ تَعْلَمُونَ Azim. So this has come in the middle here. And that is just to keep the balance going and the version of the ayah and um, also what comes before and what comes after this ayah. So I found, I found this quite interesting. I, I don't know about you.